Somewhere in Australia, there should be 36 and a half million 50 cent coins. But most of us never get to see many of them. The silver half dollar looks like becoming our scarcest piece of currency. Where have all our 50 cent coins gone? Well, down here in the vaults of the Reserve Bank in Melbourne, I've managed to find about $14,000 worth. But if you wanted any more than that, you'd probably find it pretty tough going. Uh, for one reason, it's been discovered that there's a profit to be had in 50 cent coins. And it seems that some of our missing 50 cent pieces might have been smuggled overseas. Uh, the way silver prices stand at the moment, these uh, 50 cent coins have in fact 58 cents worth of silver in them. So at that rate, this little lot that I have here, if it were melted down and sold overseas, would probably bring a clear profit of a bit over $2,000. The trouble started when silver prices on the London market jumped to 112 pence an ounce. Of course, the Australian 50 cent piece, our only coin with real silver in it, increased in value at the same time. When it was minted, the silver content was worth only about 40 cents per coin. Now it's jumped to almost 58 cents. And the interest of speculators has been increased further by the fact that there's only been one minting of the 50 cent coin. Now it looks as if there won't be any more. One reported reason for its disappearance is smuggling. Customs men on the waterfront, though, report that most of their hauls have been in pre-1946 coins, mainly because their silver content is higher. Customs man Lance Robinson sees a lesson to be learned in this. We've found some very interesting cases. Uh, it would be quite a lucrative business for the chappie getting it out of the country. Once he gets it out and gets it up, say, to Hong Kong... Well, just how do they get it out? How do they get these coins out? Well, they, many, many uh, different ideas and methods they uh, put the uh, use of the crew members to. Bring it back concealed, strapped around their legs with adhesive tape, uh, the form of money belts, in the, like a waistcoat type. How much money was involved in some of these hauls that you've made? Oh, from as little as uh, 50 odd pounds, old pounds, 100 odd dollars, to uh, 1,000 pound old currency, 2,000 dollars. Where was this going to? Uh, well, to generally it? North Hong Kong, ship bound for Hong Kong. And, and what did the people intend doing with it once they got it there? Well, the stories they told us were that there was worth so much money up to them there that they understood it was being melted down and uh, for the silver content in it. It seems that the silversmiths of Hong Kong might be showing more interest in our 50 cent coins than people who use them for shopping. Most business houses avoid them and some shoppers actually give them back if they get them in change. I don't like them. Why not? Because they're very similar to the 20 cent coins. Oh, I don't believe in them really because I think they look like a 20 cent piece. I found that. I think I did give one away once. That has happened quite frequently with a lot of people. A little bit scared of them. Do you get many 50 cent coins in your change? Yes, a few. And uh, I usually save them, put them in the phone box, pay the phone bill. Do you spend it or do you save it? Save it. Why do you save it? I don't know. Sort of. I don't really know why. It's because it's something different. Some people are saving them and they do know why. Most coin dealers have their own theories on what may or may not happen, but at this stage they're not letting on. Most of them agree that the 50 cent coin in time will be valuable because it's the first of its kind and not likely to be repeated. Melbourne dealer Ray Jewell expects strong demand because the coin is now a type coin. It could take some years because I, I think there's been speculation in this coin. Collectors have put them away in quantity. Uh, the smaller collectors have a few, the larger collectors have possibly hundreds away. And, uh, the fact that it is so unusual and uh, everybody knows of the possibility of it not being repeated, uh, the chances of it rising very quickly I think are very slight. Although this uh, 50 cent coin affair has undoubtedly produced one or two headaches for Treasury officials in Canberra, things aren't really as grim as they look. It's made things a lot easier for our own Sir Henry Bolte. Instead of imposing state taxes now, he'll be able to melt down the Commonwealth's 50 cent coins. The Victorian Treasury will be guaranteed 8 cents profit on every one.